the verdict. Now back to Carl. All right, thanks very much, Scott. See you in a few minutes. Uh, the Supreme Court considering the legality of the president's health care law following three days of arguments this week, a ruling not expected until June. Texas Senator Kay Bailey Hutchison says the law is unconstitutional. She joins us this morning from the Hill. Senator, good to see you again. Good morning. Thank you, Carl. Good to be here. Uh, quite a dramatic few days of testimony. We'll be talking about this case for a very long time, no matter how they rule. How do you think it's going to come down? What, what decision do you think they're going to give? You know, I think all the indications are that the justices were very skeptical of the overreach uh, of that mandate and that it, it looked like they thought you couldn't fix it with a tweak, that everything depended on that individual mandate and otherwise it would be uh, uh, insupportable. That's the indication. However, I will say, Carl, I've watched the Supreme Court for a long time and you can never tell from the tenor of the questioning what they're really thinking. Sometimes hostile questions mean they're for your position and they're looking for their arguments. Sometimes uh, it's the opposite and you really can't judge it. But it looked to me like the judges were asking the right questions and that they did see the encroachment on freedom uh, as an issue. And so uh, I, I understand your point about being careful about predicting uh, decisions, but you, you sound relatively confident that severability is not a possibility that if the mandate's thrown out the whole thing's gone I felt like I, I was in the court yesterday and I felt like the severability issue wouldn't even be close that most of the justices seem to be saying you can't throw out the pay for the the uh, tax or the fines and keep the services because that would certainly not be congressional intent so I felt like uh, a pretty sure thing if the mandate is gone that they would probably say start all over yeah. but that's just a guess do you do you see any danger in a 5-4 decision do you think the public views the court as inherently political in ways that would be damaging to the court long term not at all I, and I don't think the justices should be thinking about that the numbers uh, I, I think that they have to look at the facts and I think that severability issue particularly uh, there is no severability clause I don't think the justices are going to make one up I think they will look at the facts I think they will look at the Constitution the precedents and make their decision without that political influence let me switch gears quickly uh, before we run out of time talk about some uh, energy I know you know the sector well all these various reports about a potential SPR release What's behind it? Does it actually happen this summer? Oh, I hope not. I, I don't, unless there's a real crisis and we are stopped from getting the oil and gas that we need for the economy of our country and for businesses to function, we shouldn't use the SPRO. The SPRO is for real crisis emergencies, and we're not in a crisis emergency. There are so many things that we can do to bring down the cost of gas, and that would be to have drilling in the Gulf of Mexico, which this is administration is virtually not doing and to for heaven's sakes get the Keystone pipeline going we could create jobs and we could bring down the cost of, of gasoline at the pump we should not be using our emergency reserves uh, for because prices are high we should fix the prices by opening the markets All right, well, with crude at uh, 103 off more than two bucks today senator uh, appreciate your time we'll see you next time hey thank you Senator Kay Bailey Hutchinson joining